Some amazing pictures taken by NASA were just released of astronauts who were part of the Apollo moon mission training right here in Hawaii over 40 years ago. These are incredible. <laughs> KITV4's Pete Caggiano has a look at the historic pics. It's all new at 6. What we wanted to do is, is capture um, something very historic that was done in Hawaii where Hawaii was instrumental in, in the training and readiness for putting man on the surface of the moon. Mission accomplished. Pacific International Space Center Executive Director Rob Kelso helped find and release never-before-seen pics of early Apollo astronauts training right here on the Big Island. Kelso is a former space shuttle flight director and says Hawaii is an ideal training ground. The thing that sets Hawaii apart from almost every other place in the world is that it is almost an exact replica of the surface that we see on the moon and on Mars. Many of the Apollo astronauts that walked on the moon trained right here in Hawaii. It's our unique landscape that drew the astronauts here. If you've been up to Mauna Kea or Mauna Loa, you know there aren't any plants and no vegetation up there. And it's red, just like the red oxide soil on Mars. And it looks like you're in a different world. Not only do these pictures peer into Hawaii's space history, but give a glimpse at the future as well. Just last year, scientists from the University of Hawaii and Cornell used Mauna Loa as a test site to mimic space conditions makes a great place for scientists and astronauts to come and do geologic field training in preparation not only for the Apollo missions, but for future missions to the moon and Mars. Hawaii, firmly part of space history and space future. Pete Kajano, KITV4 News. That is so that cool. Is. <laughs> I love those pictures. If you want to see them again, head to our website, KITV4.com. And one Cool side note to that, Hawaii also played a role in the end of those historic missions. Watch this. Each time after splashing down in the Pacific, both capsules and crew members arrived in Hawaii on their way back to Houston. Hawaii's role in space exploration remains strong to this day. So interesting. I know you were talking about that earlier. Mm -hmm. They would land in the Pacific and then get scooped up. They'd be scooped up and then they'd be thrown into those, they look like airstreams because they might be contaminated. And then, but all the people would be lying in the streets waving at them. So yeah. interesting. Well, if you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be? How one man's New Year's resolution came true. Plus, a recap of our top headlines when we come back. Don't go away.